I've attempted a lot of Nuzlocke challenges over the past year, meaning that I've become detached to the cruel reality that is losing a close friend. To confront the growing fear of my fleeting emotions, I needed to regain my sense of sadness by making the deaths of these virtual monsters seem real by essentially buying voodoo dolls of them. So I hopped over to PokemonCenter.com, loaded up on the newly released Sitting Cuties line from the Unova region, and thus the plush lock was born. Where if a Pokemon dies in the game, it dies in real life. How did I determine my team, you ask? Well, random chance, of course. I let Jesus take the wheel and spun for my first encounter. All right, let's see who we're getting on the team first. Who is our starter? 148? That's gotta be pretty good. That might be our sweeper. That is Thunderous with Prankster. That's pretty good. Things were off to a great start. Add to card. All right, he's a little bit more expensive, so he hurts my wallet a little bit more, but he does help my run significantly. Uh, who do we get as our second Pokemon on the team? Five, okay. Uh, that is Pig Knight. All right, we got a firefighting type. Welcome to the team, Pig Knight. 23, okay, that's... Uh, ooh, Muna. I don't know how good that's going to be for me. Uh, cute plushie, though. And it's only $11.99. Save three bucks. Yes, there we go. Add him to the cart. Let's see who else we get. 102. Okay, that's pretty far down. I don't know. Oh, Galvantula. Okay, uh, that's pretty good. I will, I will 100% take that. 41. That seems like it could be pretty good. 41. Awesome. Oh, so close to getting throw. Oh, Temple. I kind of want to cheat and give myself Palpito. <laughs> I just like Palpito. This is one of my favorite guys. Yeah, yeah sorry. I'm, I'm cheating. I, I don't care. You know what? Oh, yeah. There he is. Look at him. He's got those dogs out too. $14.99 well spent. That is my goat right there. Who is the final member? 117. That's pretty late in the decks. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No way. No. Oh, so close. I mean, Fracture could still be good. Fracture is still gonna be pretty usable. It's not quite as good as Haxorus, but hey. And with that, the team is complete. I can check out and question every life decision I've ever made. Down $100, the next step was to wait patiently for my team to arrive in the mail. And if you enjoy watching me make irresponsible financial decisions for content, be sure to subscribe to the channel and comment down below what you think would make for another questionable credit card statement. With the full team assembled, it was time to embark on our journey throughout the Unova region. And the start looks pretty reminiscent of a normal White 2 Nuzlocke, just with an evolved starter, a legendary, and a molding rival. Okay, who is, what, what is an anti-plush? Name him Funko Pop? Oh, that's even better. Funko P, we'll name him Funko P. No, we cannot evolve the Pokemon. They must stay in their plush form. <gasps> See, there he is. It's him in plush form, look. Look at that, it's just like him. He's like, wait, I thought you picked Tepig, huh? How did it already evolve? So the true antithesis of our cute little plushies, Funko Pop, walked away and stormed to Twitter to complain about how much of a cheater I am. And I'm gonna be honest, I think he's got a pretty good case. I did pull up to the very first fight with a full team of six Pokemon and pockets overflowing with rare candies, full restores, max elixirs, etc, etc. Which means that I'm already well prepared for the first gym. Oh yeah, we got rival fight. Uh-oh. I wasn't ready for Funko P. Oh, whoa. Ho -ho. Let's hope that he doesn't also have Dragon Rage at his disposal. <laughs> All right, we found we have found our early game sweeper. He's like, how could it be? Wait, where did you get a fracture? Normally, Sharon poses quite a threat as a normal type first gym leader whose Pokemon are all sporting a setup move, but I had something way more powerful than he could have ever imagined. A Pokemon with Dragon Rage. Does this Lillipup have a higher HP stat than fracture? Does it have more than 40 HP? I'm gonna say no. I was correct. Making big moves onto Verbank, one of my uh, one of my favorite cities. I promise things will get harder later. Just wait. However, not immediately. The next two gyms played out like a completely normal Nuzlocke. All right, Roxy. The si singing time is over. Play time is done. Oh, whoa, whoa. 
Oh man, Muna looks dead. Muna looks demonic. Oh, the red eyes from the plush, they look, oh, that is, okay, yeah, this moon is not dying. All right, get worked up. Plus two on everything, I think we're good. All right, do we Oko at plus two? Boom, it's too easy. It's too easy for the power of this plush pig knight. Oh, is this gonna consume my Pecha Berry? <laughs> I wasted a Pecha Berry, dude. Uh, the next, okay. <laughs> The next gym battle should be even easier than this one was. But yeah, if the if the plush dies in the video game, it dies in real life. So we just won't we won't let anything die. What do you mean real life? If Pig Knight dies, Buddy's dead. Buddy's dead. Oh shit. <laughs> but uh yeah. Bug type gym, real exciting stuff. All right. Uh we set up on him, boys. Easy sweeps. This looks fun. Oh yeah, Stefan, it's very fun. I love, I love clicking the setup move and then sweeping through with my lead Pokemon. It is, it is high level gaming. All right, well, it was fun, Berg. <laughs> See you, <ya>, buddy. <laughs> See you, friend. All right, wasn't that, wasn't that a thrilling gym battle, guys? Oh, the crit. <laughs> Easy game. I swept through them with Pig Knight and it looked like no plushies would need to be harmed in the making of this video. I hadn't even needed to use my legendary yet. Well, that's not quite true. I did use Thunderous to deal with this very eager salesman who jumped me as I arrived in Castelia City. Whoa, look at these, look at the camera angles. Whoa. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, shoot. I was like, what is happening? I don't remember this. Look at him. Look at that guy. He's the perfect little lad. Cause you too can not yet, but soon TM can own a little guy. Well, luckily for you, soon TM is right now. If you want to buy this limited edition turtle pirate plush that is a totally unique and original turtle pirate, then you're in luck. For the next two weeks, you can own a piece of Captain Kid lore by purchasing your very own plushie of me. This will be your only chance to ever acquire this beautiful piece of merchandise, so be sure to not wait and click on the link in the description or pinned comment to claim your Turtle Pirate plush today. I've gotta sell 200 of these bad boys to make it happen, so tell your mom, your grandma, literally anyone you know that this is a must-have item. Oh, and uh, thanks to Cannons who helped put this amazing plush lock together with the unique back sprite and special cutscenes. Anyways, back to the much less cool than my plush, Pokemon plushies. I've got one more. <laughs> oh, only if you beat me to, oh shoot, uh-oh. Oh no, do we wipe? Do we wipe to this guy? Oh shoot. Let's see, okay, it's just a Squirtle. Level 15 Squirtle, we got this, we got this. Uh, not, not associated to the plush in any way though. The plush is just a normal turtle. This guy just happens to have a Squirtle, that's it. Okay, heart stamp. Oh, this, see, it's, it's a lovable. I mean, it's, if a plush were to have that, it would be lovable, you know? The cap, all right, sorry, buddy. Sorry, Captain, but I, I had to bust out my big plush. We got one. We got a Captain Kid plush. And so can you by clicking on the link in the description. <laughs> After receiving the most important item Castelia City has to offer, it was time to excavate the rest of them as the city contains a treasure trove of items that will definitely help to boost the strength of our mons as we get further and further into the run. Second most importantly, this Eviolite. But also, type boosting items, a scope lens, an EXP share, freaking leftovers? You get the point. This was just a quick detour to gather everything needed to milk the usefulness out of this raggedy Andy looking team. Since new encounters were a big no-no this run, it actually made traversing from town to town extremely quick and easy. We got to bypass an entire desert on our way to Nimbasa City because who needs a Darmanitan when you have the most evil being to ever grace this earth? But Muna wouldn't be needed quite yet as my Elisa strategy revolved around an even more perfect specimen, Palpatode. This poor guy might never reach his true potential, but I believe that he's perfect just the way he is. I would never let anything bad happen to him. Thankfully, Elise's team doesn't carry any grass type coverage, so I could easily slap some leftovers onto our bulbous friend, click Aqua Ring, and voila! An unkillable monster who has just swept us through yet another gym challenge. All right, uh, let's do it. I think Palpatode's got this. I think Palpatode's kinda got this for free. Why do you have a Thunderous in gym four? 
uh, because he's my favorite little plush guy. All right, we click Aqua Ring. Nice. You thought I was going to swap? You fool. You fool. I would never swap there, obviously. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is money. Nice. Now give me that good healing. Give me back up. He just... Oh, he crit through it. Oh, my God. Oh, Palpatode, you're the goat. Every, every time I play a game and I get a Palpatode in it, I, my, my love for Palpatode just explodes exponentially. He's got that dog. He's got that toad in him. All right, easy. Easy clap. The Palpatode sweep. We got, we got a pretty good squad here. Gotta say. It's been all fun and games up to this point, but look, playtime is over. Because standing before us now is notorious run killer, Clay. Unlike those other runners, though, I've got something known as the Palpitode Diff. Clay is tough. I'm a little bit worried about Clay, not gonna lie. Where is he hiding? Is he here? I think this is it. All right, we found it. If we get through Clay, I think I think we're, we're pretty much through. This is probably the hardest gym leader that we have to face. But Palpitode carries. Palpitode's got this, I believe. Hit the muddy water and hit the range. That's what we need to do. All right, just don't get... Oh, we outspeed and we missed. Oh, no, we hit it. Okay, huge, huge. I guess it doesn't have perfect IVs then. Beautiful. All right, that's that's the way to start right there. He does it again. He's unstoppable. <laughs> He's just too powerful. Who needs anybody else? I told you, Palpatode's got this. Look at this. The Palpa Goat. He's got this. Never never doubt the Palpa Goat. Why would it metal... <laughs> My, my man is just a, on completely random AI. See, and then you, then you watch this. You just you just click Muddy Water and you win every single time. See, it's still it's so easy. It's just an easy video game. I don't know what to tell you. My team's just kind of goaded. <laughs> we clutch it up. We clutch it up with the Big Toad. Big Toad, easy clap. Five gyms in and we have managed to sweep every single one of them with our little guys. Soon to be six because, need I remind you, I've had this thing lounging in my back pocket doing nothing for the first half of the game. I think it's fair that we finally dust it off and put it to use for the first time this run. Oh, this is this is one of the most dangerous gyms of all time. People have 100% died. No. Oh my god, my limbs! So, after avoiding an almost certain death trying to navigate through Skyla's gym, I expressed my grievances in the best way I knew how. Absolutely obliterating her flying type team with my God of Thunder. All right, so this is gonna be probably the easiest one that we've done so far. The Thunderous Sweep? Beautiful. Beautiful. Swana next? I don't even know who she's gonna swing it. Oh. Oh, I feel bad for this Swana. This Swana is about to die. All right, well, we, we all knew this one was coming. Never give up. Oh, I would I would give up. I would just FF right now. I would FF if I were you, Skyla. I don't think you have any chance. Okay, it's just... <laughs> and she misses the steel wing. Massive L. Huge L. Another one down. I, I You know what? I've been saying it all this time. I'm an amazing Pokemon trainer. Thank you for acknowledging me, Skyla. I... You know what, at least someone recognizes my brilliance. As easy as the plush lock has looked up to this point, my confidence was quickly fading. My team had answers to every task that had been thrown its way so far, but this next gym would really test how well it could hold itself together. Most problems can simply be solved by clicking the setup move and then sweeping through to compensate for the team's lack of base stats, but Drayden could bring that strategy to a screeching halt. We got six badges. We're about to get our seventh, hopefully. I'm, I'm really hoping that Fracture can just sweep. If Fracture can't sweep, then we're, <laughs> we're in big trouble. Sure, I would love to just throw my Fracture out, set up a couple of dragon dances, and waltz my way into an easy seventh gym badge, much like all the rest, but here's the thing. I can't do that. All of Drayden's team carries the move Dragon Tail, which forces out the target as it gets hit. Sure, it has negative priorities, so if I could somehow get away with setting up a turn without taking a Dragon Tail, I'd be in great shape, but I couldn't gamble on that outcome. 
I had no other option than to just hit it turn one because wasting a turn to set up and then getting hit with Dragon Tail would have been an instant throw. Not to mention, Fracture was the only Pokemon that I had with a super effective move against Drayden's team because the Ice Beam TM was not yet obtainable, meaning that nobody else on the team could hit his Pokemon for super effective damage. I was absolutely worried that Drayden would be the run killer I had feared Clay was. But let's not get ahead of ourselves here. This whole time, there's been some crazy stuff going down with like two rival games of Team Plasma, and I think a Purloin is involved somehow. Anyways, I'm pretty sure Funko Pop is still tight from our very first ever fight, because in a mandatory double battle with him, he did his best to get my entire team killed. Uh, am I ready? I mean, we got, we got Palpatine. Of course I'm ready. Oh, I've got Fracture out? Oh, that's actually not good. I don't want to take an Ice Beam. Uh, all right, Palpatode, you're, you can take whatever gets thrown at you. All right, yep. We eat those? Oh, sh What the dog doing? No, 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 not Palpatode. Oh my God. Okay, well, that was worst case scenario. Samurai going for the Encore right at the start. Definitely a massive throw. This Cryogonal has got hands now. I'm gonna try and swagger it. This Samurott has been completely useless. Oh, that was big. That was massive. Okay. Why? What is he doing, dude? I, I'm killing his Samurott. His Samurott is actually throwing. I'm clicking discharge this turn. This Samurott is not helping at all. I hope it dies here. At least we can get, throw in your Stoutland, get an Intimidate off. Oh, Jesus. Simba Sage? Oh, dude. Okay, wait, this might just kill. Okay, good. All right, now we can Volt Switch out of here. All right, I think we made it out alive. Oh my God, that was such a dumb fight. All of that stemmed from the one bad lead and also the Samurott clicking Encore two times. Holy. What a fight. With the Drayden plan in place, I got a couple of test runs in on the gym trainers to make sure it was working. Everything looked great. The only problem is that none of these Pokemon I was going up against had Dragon Tail, which was the real problem child. However, I had no better plan, so I had to just believe in the power of my Eviolite Fracture. If the plushies were going to make it out alive, it would be by his hand. And I accidentally overleveled my Pignite right before the fight. Aw, oh, shoot. Oh, well, we can't use Pignite. <laughs> Things are off to a fantastic start. Let's do it. Let's run it. We're not, we're not losing. We're not losing to Drayden. No way. I'm just going to click Dragon Claw and hope for the best. Let's see. If it Dragon Tail's here, I'll feel justified. Oh, it crunched. Oh my God, that still does so much damage. I should have gone for the D-Dance. I should have gone for the D-Dance. Oh, I forgot he was gonna Hyper Potion. No, that was my free chance. Oh my God. I'm greeting. Please have another Hyper Potion. Uh-oh. Now I'm gonna die to Dragon Tail. Yep. I, I, just, I just killed my Fracture. So stupid. Oh, all right, well, there goes Fracture down. I think, I think the run is dead. <laughs> Oh, I, I just, I've gotten so used to the AI not healing that it's, it's screwed me. All right, we're gonna have to hope this fly does big damage. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. Come on, Thunderous, pull through for us. Oh, that sucks. Okay, if this misses and we lose Thunderous, that's gonna be really unfortunate. Okay, we hit it. Okay. Oh my God. I mean, if it dragon dances, we're in, we're in a world of hurt. Unfortunate. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude, that does so much. All right, get in there, Muna. I we, we need like a rocky. I need it to drag out. I need it to go for Dragon Tail and then drag out. Uh, what's okay? We need it. We need. Come on, come on. Show me. Oh my god, dude, this is just gonna take so much. Show me Galvantula. Yes. Okay. I think I think I have to go for Thunder Wave here. All right. Come on. Give me a full pair up. Show me a full pair up, please. Never lucky. Low roll? <laughs> Shoot. All right. We're going to the skies. Don't do dance. Oh, okay. Well, now we really need some full pairs. Crit? Shoot. There's a citrus berry. Unfortunate. Show me a full pair up, please. That's probably death. Oh. oh my God. 
All right, Palpatode. I believe, I believe, Palpatode, you got this. Win for us, do it for us. Come on, please, just one time. Lucky one time, dude. They never get full parried. Oh my God. Oh. All right, Muna. <laughs> the Muna sweep. Oh, I'm very, very warned, very forewarned. Okay, finish it off with Psychic. Well, we got Muna, Pig Knight, and a Dream. <laughs> oh, that was brutal. Yeah, so that definitely could have gone better. Having played more hardcore hacks lately, I kind of just forgot that the AI can heal and that I can grind EVs, which is ironic because grinding out EVs to make bad Pokemon usable was kind of my whole deal in my first ever Nuzlocke, so you think it would have been ingrained in there that this was an angle I should have been looking into. I guess once you go hack, you never go back. Well, no, no more Johns. A death is a death, and now I have to figure out how to kill these things with a dragon tail? Great. Oh, it's a little, uh, small. That didn't feel good at all. Moving on. Now I was four members of the team down with only a Pig Knight and a Muna to carry the rest of the run. Thankfully, waiting for an opportunity to save yet another one of my Nuzlocke's, a beacon of light shone from the PC. Ta-da! A Boldor plush. We gotta bring him in. We need a savior for this run. We gotta get Boldor in here. Cory is back, baby. Grace from the heavens above. Even if this Boldor plush can be a shell of what Cory was in the last unit of a Nuzlocke, he could be the ultimate key to victory. But he would not be the only key to victory. If I wanted any chance at a win now, I would have to go all out. This meant grinding BP for valuable items, traversing the vast lands to collect all of its heart scales, and yes, grinding up EVs in the most boring way possible. One full day of my life spent gathering resources for a bleeding team later, and it was time to put the remains out for what was still a tiny shot at success. And that shot would be led by our tiniest warrior, Muna. I mean, just look at that back sprite. That is a god of war. Marlin was the next obstacle in our path, and his team of water types seemed like it would be responsible for writing the final chapter in this Nuzlocke's lore. But I had other plans. I flew back home, yes, to see my loving mother, but more importantly to do what I always wanted to do as a kid and head out across the pond to grab the Energy Ball TM, the centralizing tool that would win us our eighth and final gym badge. The plan was simple. Yawn turn one and then protect turn two as they go night night. Try and moonlight to heal back up if you can and then energy ball to finish the job. We got a little bit of practice with it on Marlin's gym trainers and I'll be honest, I thought this was going to work. The Muna sweep was real. Those trainers were a good precursor, but it was time to see if it would work against the real deal himself. It was time to watch Muna do something that nobody believed was possible. You gotta do it, you gotta do it to him. You're gonna have to step up big. Crunch, no defense drop, no defense drop. Okay, I think we just gotta go. All right, believe, it stays asleep. It always stays asleep, right here, right here, it stays asleep. Oh, it's Hyper Potion? Oh, God. It, it didn't use a sleep turn there, so I just have to I just have to click Energy Ball. Yes, okay. All right, Muna lives. Muna takes one, the Muna sweep. I think my only chance is to get off the Moonlight. Okay, we gotta live. We gotta live. We live like a few rolls. And unfortunate. That was my best chance. I lived, I actually lived most rolls. That was unfortunate. That was only 25% chance to kill. And all right, we kill the Jellicent, cursed body. Okay, now I can't even use Pig Knight. We struggle, get some big struggle damage in there. Boldor wins these. Nah, there's no chance. And we got burned. Yeah, it's over. And that's the run. The moon of sweep was not real. And that's how this story ends. Maybe I should have done a better job protecting my electric type legendary. Well, that's another three deaths. So I guess this must be done. A 
sad conclusion to what could have been an incredible story, but I think I summed it up best with my closing speech. 07 to the fallen soldiers, but uh, it's been real, I guess. Buy my plush! Link in the description down below!